Good morning dear children welcome back to science online class children in today's class we are going to learn a new lesson weather seasons and climate children you know what is mean by weather weather means how hot cold sticky or rainy a day is children now it may be hot or tomorrow it may be rainy some days are hot some days are pleasant some days are windy and some days are rainy it will change the daily condition of the atmosphere is called weather what is weather children the daily condition of the atmosphere is called weather even during the day also the temperature will change and when the weather is same for many days we call the time a season what is season children when the weather is continuing for many days we call the time a season for example the weather is hot for most days of may and june so we call these months the summer season and there are three main seasons summer winter and monsoon spring and autumn are two more seasons climate the kind of weather a place generally has its climate what is climate children climate means the usual condition of the temperature humidity wind rainfall etc in an area of the earth's surface for a long time children why do the seasons change and why are climates different let's learn in detail children what is the shape of the earth the earth is round in shape and it is always moving around the sun now you imagine a circle going around the middle of the earth like a belt this imaginary circle is called equator you know what is equator an equator is an imaginary line around the middle of the earth an equator divide the earth into two equal halves the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and you know we are in the northern hemisphere children pass a knitting needle through a soft rubber ball hold the top of the needle tilt it a bit and turn the ball around this is the way the earth rotates about an imaginary line we call this imaginary line the axis of the earth you know what is axis an imaginary straight line around which the earth spins is called axis the earth spins on its axis once every 24 hours and the axis passes through the northernmost and southernmost points of the earth these two points are called the north pole and south pole the axis pass to the northernmost and southernmost points of the earth these two points are called north pole and the south pole children earth rotate its own axis this is called rotation the rotation of the earth causes day and night at the same time it revolves around the sun this movement is called a revolution and the path in which the earth revolves around the sun is called its orbit season change because the earth revolves and because the earth axis is tilted to its orbit the earth's tilted axis causes the seasons and these two things make different parts of the earth tilt towards or away from the sun at different positions in the orbit this make seasons change children when the weather is continuing for many days we call the time a season and the season is not same in all countries the season in the northern hemisphere are the opposite of those in the southern hemisphere children in june the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun so more places of the northern hemisphere in the sunshine than in the shade then what will happen children they will get more sunshine that means the days are longer than the nights in the northern hemisphere more sunshine means more heat so the northern hemisphere become warm and has summer and the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun in june so they have less amount of heat 
and the days are shorter and nights are longer. Shorter days means less heat. The earth tilt may the rays of the sun fall at an angle over the southern hemisphere. These landing rays spread out over a larger area giving less warmth. So the southern hemisphere has winter season. But in the northern hemisphere, the rays of sun fall more directly giving more warmth. And they have summer season. In December, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. We saw in June, the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. But now, it is tilted away from the sun. So, the days are shorter and nights are longer in the northern hemisphere. But in the southern hemisphere, the days are longer and nights are shorter. The shorter days and slanting rays bring winter in the northern hemisphere. And the direct rays of the sun bring summer in the southern hemisphere. In March and September, no part of the earth tilts more towards the sun. So the two hemispheres get same amount of sunshine. In March, the northern hemisphere has spring and southern hemisphere has autumn. And in September, the north has autumn and the south has spring. Children, let's discuss some fill-ups and question answers. First one, the dash divides the earth into two equal halves, the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. The equator divides the earth into two halves. Second one, when the weather is somewhat the same over weeks, we call the time a dash. When the weather is continuing for many days, we call them the time a season. Third one, the path the earth revolving around the sun is called a dash. The path the earth revolving around the sun is called orbit. First question, what makes the seasons change? Season changes because the earth revolves around the sun. Second one, the earth's axis is tilted to its orbit. Second question, what are the two things that make the northern hemisphere warm in June? In June, the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. As the earth rotates the places, the northern hemisphere remain in the sunshine longer, which means more heat. Hence, they have summer. Third one, twice in a year, the northern and southern hemisphere get an equal amount of sunshine. In which two months does this happen? In March and September, the northern and southern hemisphere get an equal amount of sunshine. Children, hope you all understood about seasons and season change. And remaining part of the lesson, we will continue in the next class. Okay, children, so write your classwork neatly and learn.